You see, when things are shoulds, they become optional. You see that right there? That's something you should be doing. But because it's a should, it's optional. It's not something you must be doing until it doesn't click and you make it click in your mind that this is a must. Being on your deen is a must. Uh, worshiping Allah is a must. You should be worshiping Allah, correct? But some of you are not because that should is an option. Way of Life SQ, keeping it 100. Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so grateful, thankful, and humbled that you decided to spend some of your time here with me today. The reason you are not on your dean. You see, when I was gonna make this video, I think I just, okay, okay. When I had to make this video, I was thinking to myself, I wanted to really ask myself, why are people not on their deen? First, I was gonna say the reason you're not praying your salah, right? But I feel like I made a video about that, like right over here, go check that out. Uh, but I wanted to ask myself a deeper, richer question, like why aren't people on their deen? And I figured out the answer, by the way, and you see that prayer mat over there? That plays a big role on my driving of this topic for today, specifically today, and I'm happy I'm making this topic for today. Um, <clears throat> you see, if I were to ask you, should you pray? If let's suppose you're someone uh, who is struggling with your prayer, struggling with just your deen overall, right? And, and maybe this is some of you, not, not, not a lot of you, right? But I think I would assume that there's a lot of people who are struggling with this, right? I'm struggling with it too. That's where there's a prayer map there, and I'm going to talk about that in a second. Everyone's levels of struggle is different, but everyone's struggling. Don't let anyone ever tell you that they're not struggling on their deen. Everyone is, but everyone's struggling at a different level. And that plays a role into it as well. So pay attention to that. That's going to come in a bit. If I were to ask you, should you be praying? You would say yes. Tell me some things that you should be doing. I should be praying, brother. I should be lowering my gaze. I shouldn't be watching pornography. I shouldn't be doing certain things. I should be worshiping Allah more. I should be doing more dhikr, more adhkar. I should be doing a lot of stuff. But you know the reason why you're not doing any of these things? Is because it's not a must. You see, shoulds are options. Shoulds are optional. You should be praying to Allah, correct? You should be praying five times a day, correct? You should be doing all these, correct? But you're not. Because we only do what we must. Let me ask you. Should you breathe or must you breathe? Which one is it? To survive, to live, to thrive, should you breathe or must you breathe? You see, when things are shoulds, they become optional. You see that right there? That's something you should be doing. But because it's a should, it's optional. It's not something you must be doing until it doesn't click and you make it click in your mind that this is a must. Being on your deen is a must. Uh, worshiping Allah is a must. You should be worshiping Allah, correct? But some of you are not because that should is an option. When you say, I should be worshiping Allah, I should be better, I should be lowering my gaze, you're telling yourself a way out. Yeah, you should be doing it, but Habibi, you're not. Shaitan comes to you, he whispers to you, blah, 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 blah. Min al jinnati wan nas, the, the shayateen from amongst the people, from the shayateen amongst the jinn and all that sort of stuff, they're all whispering to you, giving you bad suggestions in the form of bad friends, bad company, bad environment. You should be doing a lot of things, but shoulds are optionals. Tell me what you must be doing. You don't think prayer is a must, hence you're not praying it. I'm sorry for that harsh truth. You don't think being on your deen is a must, that's why you're not doing it. Sorry for the harsh truth. Let me ask you a question. Should you brush your teeth or must you brush your teeth? Which one is it? I must. Should you shower or must you shower? Which one is it? You must. Until your salah, your deen, your connection with Allah isn't a must, it won't happen. It will happen for like a week, a couple of days, right? How many of you ever prayed, prayed consistently, but it only lasted a week, week and a half, two weeks if you're lucky. Most of us is just a few days. Because the ritual that's required for you to build that consistency and that muscle, you don't have that. And it's not a must for you, it's a should. I should be praying. Inshallah, I'm going to start praying. Da, 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 da. You start praying and then you stop. Because your prayer, your salah, your deen is a should. It's not a must. SQY, you keep pointing at that. Have you ever um, missed a salah 
or been delayed for a salah or something. And maybe, let's suppose if you missed a salah, you feel negative about it. You feel guilty about it. Has that ever happened to you? Yeah, I hope you're nodding your head or raising your hand or something like that. That's my inner teacher coming out. MashaAllah. Have you, has, that, has that ever happened to you? Has it? Has it? Okay. What do you do? What are we taught to do? Anytime we have a negative feeling, anytime we have a negative feeling about ourselves, what are we taught to do? Ignore it. Get rid of it. Get, get rid of it. Get rid of it. Get rid of that negative thought. Let me distract myself with some music or some video games to get rid of that negative thought. Okay. That's the reason you're still shitting to pray, not a must. Because if you leaned into that negative feeling a little bit more and said, hang on a second, and understand that each negative feeling is your body's way of telling you, communicating with you, your soul's way of communicating with you, your iman's way, your spirituality's way of communicating with you, telling you that something's up. The moment you lean into your negative, that's not a negative, you're telling me that you being guilty about not praying is a negative feeling? I think that's a positive feeling, don't you? There's something left in your heart, your iman, that's telling you that you should be praying. You're perceiving it as something negative. I think it's something extremely positive. The fact that your heart is not dead, it's not rock solid to where you don't even care anymore. That's a, that's a, that's a win, don't you think? I think so. I think so. I think that's a win. Okay. The problem is, and, and, and the problem with why you're still shooting a lot of things instead of making your deen a must is because you're not leaning in. You're not stepping in. You're not leaning into these negative emotions and feelings. Your negative emotions and feelings, quote unquote negative, they're not negative, they're actually positive, are calls to action. They're telling you to do something. So instead of running away from that, Approach it, lean into it, ask yourself, why am I feeling guilty? Because I haven't prayed. Your body, your soul, your mind, your spirit, your iman is telling you, Habibi, pray, pray. You're feeling guilty because your body wants it. When your body is dehydrated, what are some signs? Your eyes can go a little yellow, your, uh, your lips could get chapped. Do you ignore that? Or do you acknowledge that, hey, that's my body's way of telling me that it's deficient in something? What if that guilt... For that salah is your body's way of telling you that you're deficient in something. You need it. You need that spirituality. Your heart, you need it. What if that's your body's way of telling you and communicating to you? When you get a cut on your finger, what do you do? It's bleeding. That's your body's way of telling you something needs to happen. Your body is now you know, creating plasmas over there to stop the bleeding and coagulate the bleeding nonetheless. But that, that feeling you have is your nervous system shooting up pain in your brain, letting you know that something happened. Ooh. You just got burned, right? Just, ah, burnt. But what if you just did this and just kept it there? Like in those cartoons, you saw oh, something cooking, something burning? You'd be dumb. You see, when that happens, that pain, that's your body's signal to your brain telling you that something's up. Your negative emotions towards how you feel about the deen are not negative emotions. Habibi, they're telling you a call to action to do something about it. And this term, in, in Arabic, the term is called muhasaba. Muhasaba. It is self accountability. It is your body's way of telling you to do something. It is spiritual auditing. And I'm going to give a khutbah about that today later on. Muhasaba. We're going to talk more about that later on. So stay tuned for that video. That's going to be in the, in the khutbah, inshallah, when I post that out. But the problem, the thing you have to realize is that you have to take accountability for yourself. We all need to become spiritual auditors. We have to. When we have those negative feelings about our deen or ourselves, that's your body's way, your iman's way of telling you that something's up. So don't run away from that feeling. Embrace that feeling. SQ, you keep pointing over there. I told you in the beginning of the video, we all have our own struggles. We all are struggling in the deen. All of us are. No one's an exception. But our struggles are at different levels. Okay? Today, I woke up late. Today I woke up late for work. I was supposed to be, my class work started at 9. I got here at like 9, 10. I ran out my house. Alhamdulillah, I lived nearby. My wife gave me a ride. Wallahi, I didn't even wear, Wallahi, I didn't even wear socks. Wallahi, I didn't even wear socks. I ran out the house. I didn't even wear socks. I didn't even wear socks. Ew, that's cute, you're nasty. <laughs> I didn't even wear socks. I ran out the house. All I did was, alhamdulillah, brush my teeth, make wadu, and I ran out because I knew I was going to pray at work. You see, me not praying is giving me anxiety. The fact that I, I woke up late is obviously my day is off to a little bit rough of a start. I feel a little behind in my day. But the question I need to ask myself is how I'm going to improve it. That's the key. 
Once I pray over there, I'm going to feel better about myself. I'm going to feel accomplished. I'm going to have higher self-esteem. Don't you feel good after you finish praying? Don't you? It's because you're raising your self-esteem. When your self-esteem rises, you rise. Your feelings of, of goodness rise as well too. So don't, don't feel bad about these things, guys. This, when you feel bad, that's your body's way of telling you that you have to do something about it. So do something about it. I'm going to pray. That was my struggle. You heard my struggle? Your boy SQ, 100K subscribers. Sunnah beard dari. Topi. Marks on the forehead. Man is saying that he didn't pray Fajr. Man is telling you he didn't pray Fajr. I woke up late. We all are struggling on the deen. Don't ever let anyone lie to you to tell you that they're not. Obviously, it doesn't happen every day. But the point I'm trying to make is that we all have our own struggles and battles. But I would be foolish to not audit myself. Take muhasaba of my own self. Be like, SQ, you should have went to sleep uh, earlier last night. That's accountability, right? Being accountable of yourself. Asking yourself, what's going on? What's the problem? So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to turn this off. And I'm going to go over there and I'm going to pray my Fajr prayer. I'm going to make up my Fajr prayer. And I'm going to ask Allah in a specific du'a as it, by the way, rains outside. It's raining outside. So you know the du'as uh, when you're raining are, are blessed. Alhamdulillah. Right? I'm going to make du'a for all of you guys. And I'm going to ask Allah for all those people who are struggling on their deen to, to make it easy for you guys because it's not easy to struggle with your deen. It's not. And a lot of you feel alone out there when you're struggling on your deen. But just know you're not alone. Everyone has a struggle. But the difference is others don't want to share theirs. So don't feel alone. Don't feel alone. You're not alone. But if you feel like there's a struggle on your deen, fix it. Take accountability of yourself and fix it. It's okay to struggle, but it's not okay to live with that struggle. Do something about it. I love you all for the sake of Allah. Thank you so much for watching. Check out some of these other videos right over here as well. And shout out to all those who actually wait to the end of the video because I feel like, man, if you miss a second of these videos, you're, you're going to miss out. But you know what? That's my jihad. That's my own personal mission and my own struggle that I'm trying to do. And we all have our own uh, personal battles and struggles as well, too. There's a new uh, Quizzing Strangers for an iPad video coming out soon. Inshallah, I'm going to film it on Sunday. Love you all for the sake of Allah. And until next time, I'm out.